Hey, it's beautiful and a rainy day in the Okanagan and this weekend we're in Penticton Whee! and Naramata. We're Tom and Angel and we're visiting our neighboring city on the southern tip of Okanagan Lake, Penticton. If you've never heard of this Canadian beach town gem before or don't know anything about interior BC, come along and find out more with us as we continue to explore the Okanagan Valley. The Okanagan is known for having the best weather in Canada, some of the most scenic and picturesque landscapes in the country, and it's also famous for the variety of alcohols it produces. It's got the vineyards, cideries, and breweries that are the envy of the province. They are numerous, and many of them are award-winning. We're going to try one today. It's called Bad Tattoo. So for lunch today, we got the Spanico pizza. It's got spinach, sweet onion, Palomata olives, tomato, pesto, it's pesto based, and it also has tzatziki on top. It is a Neapolitan style pizza, so it's got a nice thin crust, and it's really delicious. The crust is nice and crispy, and it's got the, like the pol polenta, is it polenta at the bottom? Either way, it's nice and crispy. Oh, and it's got feta as well, which can't have enough feta. It's really good. So I'm not a beer person, so I don't feel at all qualified to talk about beers. But as a person who is not a beer person, I'm really enjoying the summery fruity beers that I'm trying today. Oh, that's sour. And generally, I think I like beers that don't taste like beer. So, good job, Bad Tattoo. <laughs> We're doing a little walk towards the beach. It's about a block away from Bad Tattoo. So while we digest, we're going to check out what festivities they have going on this weekend. Besides being known for its breweries, Penticton is also known for its beaches. It's a small city squeezed between two pretty big lakes. And both of those lakes are absolutely beautiful and have stunning beaches along them. So this is a great place to live, man. Brews and beaches? Come on. One thing really cool about Penticton is the size of the no boat zone. From one mountain all the way across to the other mountain. There's this huge area for beaches and swimming. Swimmers. There's paddle boards, kayaks, whatever. It's huge, it's awesome. Penticton is incredibly walkable and honestly just a joy to walk down. So we're now walking down the main street and in front of City Hall and we're honestly in the search of ice cream. <laughs> oh honey, I know where the ice cream is. <laughs> we just gotta get to it. We've walked by two ice cream places now and Tom says it's still not the ice cream place so this place better be good. Penticton's slogan is undiscovered Penticton, which I think is really cool because people don't really talk about it. We had never heard of it until we moved out here, but it's a really cool town. I mean, it's definitely worth checking out. Look what the sign says. It says closed, but it says gone camping. Back Tuesday. Back Tuesday. Back Tuesday. That's so Okanagan. I love it. As you might imagine, one of the biggest issues that faced a lot of the smaller towns in British Columbia is transportation. Mountains tend to be really difficult to navigate. As you see behind me, there's no clear flat plane to get from one town to the other, so they resorted to boats. Boats like the SS Sycamus or the SS Okanagan, they would paddle along these lakes and rivers and connect what otherwise would be completely isolated towns and cities to one another and to overall larger markets. Remember, before we had the engineering and developing gusto to make highways and cars and to make areas like this navigable, people relied on waterways because otherwise they were trying to climb over mountains or go around them, which is even longer. Having a straight, long waterway like the Okanagan Lake, that was huge. 
One thing I find really interesting about the like five boats that are around us and the boats that serve these areas in general is that they're all boats owned by railways. This is the CP Sycamus. These are the CN tugboats. They're all railways, but because the areas were so mountainous and difficult to engineer, it was just cheaper to build a boat. two ice cream places in one store, so we'll figure that out. It's so melty. <laughs> I went with Lickety Splits and I got a big kahuna, which is an ice cream sandwich. You get to pick your cookie, your ice cream, and your topping. I got two cookies, a chocolate chunk, a cookie monster one, which is just M&M's, and then I got the cookie monster ice cream, which has cookie dough in it, and then I got it rolled in Oreo, so it's a cookie overload ice cream. And I don't really know how I'm supposed to eat this, but they gave me a spoon, so I'm gonna try to be a lady here. Mmm, <laughs> oh so soft. I saw that they bake it inside as well, so it's baked fresh. Really good. Okay, bye. So we're wondering, this is technically called the Naramata bench, nope. but is this the bench? Is that the bench? What about that one? Which is the Naramata bench? It's a bad joke. That's a snake. Do you see him? Oh yeah, there he goes. Is it a rattlesnake? It's not. I'm telling you right now, that is the worst part about living in the Okanagan, that there are snakes here. I don't care about bears or cougars because you can see them from far away. Whereas snakes, they're like a foot away from you and then you can finally see them. It's the worst. We were just there. See where the boat is? The women? We were just there. And now we're here. But we were just there eating ice cream. And now we're climbing a hill. <laughs> Munzee Mountain. With just over 30,000 people, Penticton is a small city, but with over 2,000 hours of sunshine annually, long, hot summers, dry winters, some of the best climate in Canada, rolling vineyards, sparkling lakes, and world-class beaches, Penticton is probably the most underrated city, at the very least, in interior BC. Having the slogan, undiscovered Penticton, that's a really apt point. Penticton is so unassuming, but I feel like everyone who knows that Penticton is this lovely beach town knows. Um, and now I guess you know too. Pro tip, if you do come to the Penticton sign, come at sunset because it is gonna be one of the most beautiful things you're ever gonna see. Oh my gosh, look, the clouds are breaking. It's hitting the town of Penticton perfectly. And you could see the crevices of the mountains behind it. It's so beautiful. We just made it to camp in Naramada. It's only about a 15, 20 minute drive from Penticton. This is actually like a really cool spot, a little bit higher up in the mountain. It's a recreation site that's free for you to use and camp out. So that's where we are today. I already feel all the mosquitoes and we've already run out of bug spray. So wish us luck tonight. We're gonna have some dinner and camp out and watch sunset because we have a beautiful view of it right here. Remember that time I forgot to pack a real knife so I have to cut bread with 
my little mini knife. The mosquitoes on the top. Hey, it's worth. <laughs> Next time, we climb the most prominent mountain in the Okanagan, see the natural beauty of Naramata, and try some iconic Okanagan drinks. See you then!